Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we are doing another try to break a shotgun video. I guess this is going to be a series of videos that we're going to be looking at a semi-auto shotgun. Now, if you haven't seen these uh, videos before, I have looked at a couple of different uh, shotguns, one from G-Force Arms. I was um, very surprised at how well it did in that video series. We put it through 500 rounds of different types of loads, whether it be birdshot, uh, turkey loads, magnum loads, you know, it doesn't matter. I put everything I possibly could through it, even some slugs that wasn't rated for, and it still lived up to the test. So I was really surprised on that when G-Force Arms reached it back out to me and said, hey, we've got another shotgun we would love for you to try out. They sent it to me and I was like, yeah, sure, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we're going to be looking at the GF-25. This is produced in Turkey by a company called Radical. And um, this is a, another brand of AR-15 style shotguns. Now, full disclosure, I am not the biggest fan of these types of shotguns, uh, whether it be an AK style or an AR-15 style or even the bullpups, not that big of a fan. And there's a couple of different reasons uh, for that, mainly the reliability concerns when it comes to this type of firearm. There is tons of issues when it comes to failures to feed, failures to eject, even failures to fire. The magazines seem to be somewhat uh, finicky as well. You have to break in these types of shotguns, um, you know, 100 to 200 shells of a very specific velocity type of load. So, you know, that's a lot of work that people may or may not want to get into. And I completely understand that. However, after shooting 200 shells through this, I'm starting to kind of see the reasons why someone might be interested in this type of shotgun. We'll talk about that in this video. So first and foremost, what are we looking at here? It is a 20 inch barreled gas driven box magazine fed 12 gauge shotgun that accepts two and three quarter and three inch shells. It also has the ability for you to swap out chokes, which is always good for shotguns because you can better pattern your shotgun for the application that you need it for. This will accept slugs, so that is another added bonus. And the biggest thing that is uh, kind of a turn on for some people is the fact that it is a semi-auto shotgun and typically, typically, not always, but typically we find that uh, these style of shotguns will mitigate recoil just a little bit because shooting three inch shells um, that is anything more than birdshot can pretty wreck, pretty much wreck your shoulder <laughs> any given time. Uh, this will come with these flip up sights that are very much like uh, the Magpul flip up sights, but uh, they are full polymer. They're, 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 there's no metal on them whatsoever. So they are very cheap um, sights. And that is the biggest thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes to this. You can find these regularly online for about $250. So these are not very expensive uh, shotguns. And uh, you should expect that there might be some cost cutting areas that they're going to be doing, such as these flip up sights that come with it. Now, realistically, um, this is meant to take a red dot. Obviously you can see the Picatinny section up here on the upper receiver. So uh, definitely would suggest putting a red dot on this if you're going to be utilizing this shotgun for whatever purpose that you want, whether it be hunting, home defense, or even sports shooting as well. So there is that. 
Now, I was not the most optimistic when it came to the reliability of this shotgun. I'll put that out there first and foremost. Again, if I haven't already said it, I was not paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent about this shotgun. And I am fully aware that this was probably hand-selected and sent to me as a reviewer. So I do understand that as well. Your results may vary, but for a shotgun that is, you know, about 250 bucks, you can't really go wrong as far as giving it a try if you've never tried one of these uh, since it's so inexpensive. Now let's talk about my shooting experience with the first 200 shells that I've put through this. The manufacturer recommends that you utilize shells that have a velocity of at least 1400 feet per second. I was using Federal 4 shot that had 1450 feet per second so I was well over the recommended velocity. So after the first 200 we should have this broken in uh, fairly well. In addition to that, uh, if you look at the manual for this, it's also going to recommend a minimum of 1300 feet per second as far as the velocity of anything that you put through this as well. So keep that in mind. If you end up purchasing one of these and you run into reliability issues, you might want to look at the velocity of the shot that you're putting through this uh, to make sure that you are doing what they recommend. So a couple of disclaimers there right up front. Now of the 200 shells that I ran through this, I only ended up having one failure to feed and one failure to fire uh, out of 200. And I was actually really surprised at that. Um, so I would say that gets a kind of, uh, a B plus A minus as far as the uh, reliability goes on this. Um, pleasantly surprised that this ended up doing so well. One of the other things that I will say as far as a small issue with this is the magazines may be a little oversprung. Uh, we, we typically see that with any type of uh, Turkish manufactured firearms that uh, it is typically oversprung. So uh, one of the things that I was having to do is slap the charging handle forward on the very first shell that gets fed into the chamber on a new magazine. So that was another um, kind of annoyance, not that big of a deal, uh, easily corrected. Just, you know, hit that with your hand real quick. But for someone who is wanting to run this for three gun competition, uh, that might be a concern right there. So just keep that in mind. Definitely need to break it in very, very carefully. I did find that it would feed on that first shell uh, the further we got into the 200 shells, but uh, realistically it would feed more reliably by pulling the charging handle back and releasing it. So uh, really, realistically, not, uh, not that big of a deal when it came to the uh, reliability on this. Again, pleasantly surprised as to how well it ended up holding up. The other thing that I really liked trying is uh, laying this on its side and shooting to see how far this was ejecting shells into the air and we're talking like 15 20 feet into the air it was really kind of fun to do that and that was one of the biggest takeaways when it came to this shotgun is the fact that it was a lot of fun to shoot um that's not something i was it's not something that I was expecting when it came to the shotgun. I was uh, just expecting a lot of issues, a lot of frustration, and realistically, I didn't have that experience with this. So that's something that I really did enjoy as well. Now, one of the things that I will say that uh, this does very well is the fact that since it is an AR-15 style shotgun, you're going to have all of the controls in the familiar places. You're going to have your magazine release on the right side, exactly where you would find it on a um, AR-15. The bolt release is going to be in the same spot, and then your fire safety selector is going to be in the same spot as well. So if you're looking to get into three gun and you're looking to uh, utilize 
something that is very similar to the rifle that you're shooting, if you're using an AR-15 and three gun, uh, then this is a viable option for that. And it would be a very easy transition from your rifle to your shotgun. All the controls would be the same. You wouldn't have to learn a new manual of arms. And that's something that is, um, I think, a smart idea to do that. Now, you will be in a different division uh, in three gun than uh, most other people who are using just your traditional types of shotguns. But if you're wanting to, you know, swim with the big boys, that is definitely a way to go. Some of the other features that uh, this shotgun has is uh, some Picatinny section on the uh, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock and nine o'clock positions for you to put any lights or lasers or anything that you want to put on there. Uh, it does also have your, uh, comb adjustment. Uh, so if you want to um, raise the comb of the stock here, you can do that to better align with a red dot or an optic of your choosing. So that is basically everything going on with this. Pretty decent um, pad on the buttstock, a rubberized uh, textured pistol grip, so that is really good. About the biggest downside in shooting the first 200 shells was the fact that I had to move to a magazine hold on this because the uh, handguard was getting way, way too hot. Um, I could not run this without wearing a glove, uh, putting as many shells as I was putting through this at one time. What I would suggest is for Radical to redesign the handguard on this so that, um, number one, it doesn't have this uh, <laughs> key mod uh, attachment system on here because no one uses that anymore. And number two, increase the size of this handguard to allow for more air to move through, more uh, heat to disperse, and maybe even add some um, some heat shields as well. So that's kind of where I stand on this shotgun. We're gonna put it through a, another 300 shells to see if it will make it to 500. And I will be giving you guys updates along the way to show not only what I'm putting through it, but how well it's running as well. With all of that being said, I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. Thank you so much for all of the support, especially for this particular video. Shocker Shooter, thank you so very much. He donated a ton of ammunition to the channel and I cannot thank him enough. His support is keeping this channel going uh, without me going into debt further and further each video. So thank you so very much. If you guys are interested in donating to the channel, there is is a address down below that you can send stuff to. If you want me to try certain things out, I will be more than happy to do a video for you guys if you send me something. So there is that. In addition to that, I encourage you guys to think about subscribing to the channel. That would be a huge bonus in expanding my audience and providing you guys more and more content. Uh, sharing this with your friend is probably the best way to support the channel as well. But if you would like to financially support the channel, you could also so contribute to the channel directly by becoming a member. Uh, there is a button down there that you can click that's uh, called the join button, I guess. Um, but if you guys are interested in doing that, that would be another great way. Again, thank you guys so very much. We will continue to put out videos here coming up pretty soon. Uh, I have a very, very busy summer, as I'm sure you guys do as well. So again, thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.